is that time again where we're going to start scheduling for your sophomore year. So I am Mrs. Hickson. I have the middle of the alphabet, G to O. Mr. Cantlin has P to Z, then Mrs. Johnson has the beginning, A to F. So we're going to go through some information with you today. We're going to have you guys down to the computer lab in the next few days, and then we will call you down individually after that to go through and get your classes selected for next year. So, okay, credits. I know we have talked a lot about credits with you guys. Have you all taken PCC or are you in PCC, most of you by now? Yeah. You guys are talking about credits and how you earn credits and diploma requirements. Who can tell me how you earn a credit? Pass a class. Pass a class, right? What happens if you do not pass a core class? You don't get the credit. And then what? And then you don't pass high school. And then you have to retake it, right? You have to find a way to earn that credit. If you don't get all of your credits, then you cannot graduate. So you have to pass your classes. You will take English all four years. Math, you have to take three years in high school. So if you took algebra or geometry in eighth grade, you need to remember you still have to take three years of math at the high school. Um, science, you guys will do ICP or chemistry, biology, and then two additional science credits. So you need six science credits. In social studies, you guys don't do any as a freshman, but as sophomores, you will start and you'll do world history. U.S. history is juniors and government and econ is seniors. Um, PE and health, you guys should all have PE this year. You'll have health next year. And then the rest of your credits are electives. Do we understand what core classes are versus electives? What, what's an elective? One that you choose in addition to your English, math, science, social studies. Okay, so English, you will take English 10 or Honors English 10. Um, it's all three trimesters, so English is all year. Honors English 10 is currently two trimesters, but it may be three trimesters next year, so we're going to put it in as three and you know, see if, if we get that changed. Honors English, you should be a very strong English student. We'd like you to be recommended by your teacher. However, if you're interested in honors, you need to let your counselor know when you're, um, when you're scheduling. World history, there's also an honors world history. Science, you're, as freshmen, you should all be in ICP. If you moved into honors biology, then you will look at chemistry next year. Otherwise, if you're in ICP, you will move into biology next year, and that is all year. Math, there's a sequence of math, so it kind of depends on what you're in right now. Most of you are in algebra, some of you are in geometry. So the order goes algebra, geometry, algebra 2, pre-cal. Electives, the remainder of your credits come from electives. You guys should have, right before break, had some yellow sheets you filled out in community. We, had, we sent a PowerPoint that had you go through your electives. Did you guys all get that done and turned in? Any classes that did not get that done? You're saying no, you didn't? No? Okay. Well, you're going to need those when we schedule. Otherwise, you're going to be starting from scratch. Um, so community teachers, if you haven't, you'll want to get to those um, today, hopefully. Let's see. Schedule changes, as you guys might have learned already this year, we expect you to make any schedule changes by the first day of school. That's because we, the classes that are offered to you are based on how many people signed up for those classes. And sometimes we can't switch those for you without changing the numbers and kind of messing up some of the, the class balancing. So it's important that when you pick your electives, you're picking classes that you really are interested in in taking those classes because there's a good chance that if you're in one and you change your mind that you may not be able to change it later. So choose wisely. Pathways, this is something new and I'm gonna pass it over to Mr. Cantlin. So in talking about electives and choosing wisely, um, all of you are scheduled for PCC this year. That is our beginning class for every single pathway that we offer. And we offer 17 or 18 pathways. Um, pathways for you guys are things that you probably haven't heard a lot about. You're going to start hearing a whole lot more about. Um, but pathways in general are a sequence of classes typically six credits, all starting with PCC. So as long as you passed PCC, um, that's one of your pathway credits, and you have to have six of them. Um, and they are in different areas, and we'll go through some of those here in a minute, but they are 
defined as aligned sequence courses that could lead to an industry recognized credential or to technical certification um, or get you started into an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree um, in a high wage or high need area in the state of Indiana um, or a registered apprenticeship. So we have pathways in advanced manufacturing, auto tech, accounting, entrepreneurship, merchandising, sports marketing, construction trades, cosmetology, criminal justice, ed professions, engineering, biomedical sciences, EMS, nursing, um, PC and network support, radio TV, tractor trailer, and welding. Um, the big thing that you guys need to understand is there was a big change at the state of Indiana, and I'm not going to go into all the details, with graduation um, requirements. It does not necessarily affect you. Your graduation requirements still require you to pass ISTEP, but there are now alternates, and these pathways are some of those alternates. So if ISTEP, which you will take next year as sophomores, if you don't pass ISTEP, you could do a pathway in its place. Okay, you'll still take ISTEP, you'll still retake it if you don't pass it as, as many times as, as it's offered, but you could do a pathway in its place and that's something that we will begin talking with you guys about. But when you schedule your electives, you wanna start thinking about different pathways and talking to us about pathways because we wanna start getting you on a pathway um, and that really starts next year uh, for your schedules. Hi. Okay, so some of you may already know that you want to do an academic honors diploma or a technical honors diploma, so we just wanted to review the um, requirements quickly. There's some AP, you guys would have to have a total of eight math credits, a certain GPA, C or better in all um, classes, and then fine arts as well, and foreign language. So if you haven't, if that's kind of your goal and you haven't started at least your foreign language, we definitely need to talk about doing that next year or you'll run out of time to do that. Um, the academic honors, or I'm sorry, the technical honors diploma um, incorporates those college and career pathways, things like our cosmetology program, our CNA program, all of those are going to help you guys get the technical honors. We do have students who get both academic and technical honors. So if that's something that um, you think you want to pursue, we definitely need to start talking about it when we schedule this year to make sure you guys meet all the requirements. I-STEP, Mr. Cantlin talked briefly about what happens if you don't pass I-STEP, but the easiest way for you to meet that requirement um, to graduate is to just pass your I-STEP. Um, I know you guys have taken it in the past and it's not quite as important important, I guess. Um, so we just want to reiterate to you guys, next year you will be taking I-STEP and it's important that you take it seriously, try your best, try your best to pass because that is going to be one of your graduation requirements. Okay, so if you guys, how many credits should you have after trimester one? Five, yeah. If you don't have five and you failed a core class, you've basically signed yourself up for summer school. Um, we do have early summer school in April after school. It'll be from three to six. And then regular summer school is in June. All of that is online. There's still teachers here to help you guys do that, but everything's through Apex. I don't know if you guys have heard of the credit recovery system we use. Um, but just keep that in mind as you're debating on whether or not to do your homework and take school seriously. Most of you probably do not want to be here in the summer, but if you've already failed something, that is what you will be doing. Um, this year, you guys are kind of our guinea pigs for scheduling online. So we are excited and nervous about it. Um, so please be patient with us as we do this. What we're gonna do is take you guys into the computer lab starting tomorrow. We will have your PowerSchool login for you because you will be in there selecting your actual classes. We will give you your yellow sheets back. So if you guys did not turn those in, please make sure that you find them and bring them in starting tomorrow. If you want to just hand them to your community teacher, if you haven't already, that's fine and they can keep them for you. Um, so we will sit down and walk 
you guys through this as we're in the computer lab. So please, please be prepared to pay attention, follow along with us, um, and make this as least complicated as possible. And then we will meet with you guys individually, um, go over what you have chosen for your electives. We um, will make changes as far as you guys are all placed into regular English right now. If we're going to change you to honors, we will help you do that. So we won't have to worry about that tomorrow. Um, starting tomorrow, we will do mostly electives, right? That's what we decide. Okay. Um, and then um, after you guys have finalized your schedule with us, we will close it so you can't make changes anymore. And then we're going to let your parents know because they'll be able to log in to PowerSchool and see the classes that you guys actually requested. And then if they have any questions or anything like that, they can contact us. They can also set up an appointment to meet with you and us when we meet with you individually so we can answer parent questions, they can help you um, think through and choose appropriate classes. So if they want to do that, they need to email your counselor or contact Mrs. McGuire in our office to set up an appointment. Do you have anything to add to that? Okay. And again, schedule changes, we don't make them after the first of the year. Um, so just make sure that you guys are taking this seriously and making wise choices. Does anyone have any questions? Community teachers, do you have any questions about when you're coming to the computer lab or anything like that? You're good? You guys all got the email? Okay. Yes, if you have laptops, bring them. We have only a certain number of desktops in there, so some of you will be working on your laptops. If you already know your PowerSchool login, great, bring that. Um, if not, then we, will, we have little tags with everybody's PowerSchool login. Anything else? Question? If you are in Honors Biology this year, yes, you will take your Science I step this year. Good question. None of the rest of you will be taking ISTEP this year. Um, they were debating on whether to make Algebra 1 students take it this year, but they are not. So you will take your math, English, and biology ISTEP, excuse me, next year as sophomores, unless you are currently in biology this year and you will take your science this year. Make sense? Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. So if you are in Algebra 2 this year, as freshmen, do you have to take pre-cal next year? Um, you don't have to. We recommend that you do because then you will be in pre-cal. You'll probably move on to AP Calculus or AP Statistics, and that's going to prepare you for college-level math. Um, just keep in mind, if you're in Algebra 2 this year, you will have to complete six total credits. And so we have probability and statistics and then trigonometry and then AP stats, but probably your better course is to go into pre-cal. Mrs. Fitch, do you have any? Is that okay? What I said? Okay. Um, if you are not doing well in Algebra 2, um, we may talk about maybe retaking it um, because you have to have a very firm grasp of Algebra 2 to be successful in pre-cal. If you do not go on to pre-calculus, you would be hard pressed to get your six credits in. So, yes, Fitch, anything else? Okay, good. Any other questions? Good questions. Okay. Mr. Cantlin has something else to say. Imagine that. So, just to reiterate, we are going to have all of your core classes preloaded, okay? So when we go in, just as a little bit more preparation for tomorrow, um, and we start meeting with you guys, when we go in, you're not going to select any of your core classes tomorrow at all. And Mrs. Johnson kind of talked about that. We're just going to focus on electives. Um, so we will focus on electives, maybe alternates if we, if we get that far, um, but but definitely your electives. So for sophomores, typically you have four electives that fit into your schedule, similar to your, your freshman year, similar to this year. Um, and those are the things that we're going to focus on. And then we will talk about any changes that need to be made to your core classes when we meet with you individually. 
Any other questions? We're hoping that with the online scheduling, it, it makes the process a little bit easier for you guys, for your parents, um, as well as for, for us, and it makes the process go a little bit more smoothly. So that's why we're switching to it. Yes, unless you're doing academic honors. Okay. Yep. So if you're doing academic honors, it can still count as one of your eight math credits required for the academic honors diploma. Um, but if you don't do academic honors, then it counts as an elective credit. Can you repeat the Sorry, the question was about algebra. If you took algebra or geometry in the middle school, um, whether or not it was an elective credit or whether or not it counted. So again, it. It does count as an elective credit if you're going for the Core 40 diploma. If you're going for the Academic Honors diploma, then it counts as two of your math credits required for the Academic Honors. All right, if you guys have any other questions at all, you can you can raise your hands, we'll come around. Um, otherwise, thank you for, for paying attention and listening. You guys were very attentive, so hopefully, again, this goes fairly smoothly starting tomorrow.